Hey team, it is day 75, 15 more days to go. Keep pushing, I hope you guys are doing well. Wanting to get into the six goals, but I had a question from one of you guys out there and it's how much activity do I need each day if I have a lot of weight to lose? And, and it's a really good question. You know, when I believe when you know we started this out, uh, the basic concept was, hey, focus on the trifecta of calories, water, sleep. If you do have a lot of weight to lose, chances are you haven't been tracking your calories, you probably aren't getting enough sleep and, and you're not definitely probably not drinking enough water. Uh, focusing on those you know, was the, the way to go and the activity was kind of that 30 minutes was to get you ramped up. All this was to get you ramped up and test this stuff over 90 days, kind of see how your body reacts and overall get there. I said, you know, hey, if you got 50 pounds, give it a year, but let's talk about it a little bit because Patience is a virtue that not many of us have, including myself. And you know, if you got 50 pounds to lose, you may be like, hey dude, I don't wanna wait a year. Like, can I do it faster, healthy, without like having that rebound? You talked about this, uh, gaining more weight back in the end. I don't wanna do that, so can I do it? Let's talk about it. But first of all, day 75, 215.2, I'm gonna take that. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pushing down a little bit, which is awesome, 2151 calories, 132 ounces of water only five and a half hours of sleep, which I normally go up after that, but I mean, I'm down, uh, I think it's like a pound from yesterday, um, 60 minutes of activity and 211 grams of protein. So hitting it, it's actually excited about that 215. I'm gonna continue to push and push hard. So uh, again, I appreciate your support, comments coming, thank you so much. But let's get into this. How much activity do I need to do each day if I have a lot of weight to lose? Now, why did I say the 30 minutes? I told you in the beginning, it's a recommendation to get you kind of started with that activity. And I say, just walk, you know, listen in and stack something with it. Like listen to an audio book, do some phone calls, whatever you're going to do, but get that 30 minutes in or lift, you know, whatever kind you want to do. But the reason that I, I talk about the 30 minutes is uh, 30 minutes right away is going to give you roughly uh, 30 minutes. And I'm just gonna say of walking is gonna roughly, you know, 200 to 300 calories a day, which is one half pound a week by itself. Okay, so 60 minutes, so let's just double that. It's gonna give you four to, up, you know, I'll go 600 calories and we'll meet it in the middle. Calories a day or one pound a week. Okay, so that looks horrible. So when we talk about this, now these are just averages, right? So not everybody, if you walk 30 minutes, is gonna burn the exact same amount of calories because what we learned in school a long time ago is mass times distance equals energy, right? So if I'm, I'm you know, 215.2 pounds, if I walk for 30 minutes and somebody who weighs 115 pounds walks to 30 minutes, I'm gonna burn more calories because I weigh more. It's just how it works, right? So a bigger person that has more weight to lose, their resting metabolic rate or just the calories they burn just existing is gonna be higher than somebody that weighs less. It's just a fact. It just takes more to maintain that weight. It's a numbers game like I've told you. So the reason we had fo you focus on the three things is hey, let's get used to that and then let's go out on the activity. As you hit that, there is nothing against saying, hey, 60 minutes, let's rock and roll it. 60 minutes, uh, just for your, for your information, is also 10,000 steps. So that is also 10,000 steps. So, you know, a lot of people have the pedometers. We have our phones. You know, everybody has a phone on you. It will actually track your steps. Now, if you have 10,000 steps in a day, that's like four to five miles, right? And the 30 minutes will give you like two miles, right? And, and, and so when you think about that, you're like, man, that's pretty good. But Richard, I don't know, I don't have 60 minutes to walk. Well, that's why I said start with that 30 minutes of act dedicated activity and then the other 30 or, or the other steps that you can get, uh, let's say you, you drive to work, right? Park further away. During your calls, do you have buds? Do you have earphones? Walk. If you have an office building to walk around, take the stairs, not the elevator. Figure out ways to get that extra 30 minutes of movement. It's all about moving. And the older we get, the less activity we have. So a lot of people are like, ah, oh, it's so hard to lose weight as I get older. It's because we get more sedentary as we get older. 
So there's a couple other things I want you guys to mix in. When we talk about this activity, I'm not just talking about uh, walking, you know, and, and, and just kind of moving around. I'm, I'm talking about specific types of things. So not only do you need the walking, we've talked about this many times, you also need, what I love, you also need resistance training. And I say two to three days a week is what I would, what I would do. If I had, and this is all based on, if I had a lot of weight to lose and first of all, I'd focus on that trifecta, get that down and really not, you don't even have to get it tight, just tracking your calories, getting your water, getting your sleep, some of that activity. But if you focus on the trifecta first, get that done, you will see instant results on that scale. You will see instant results, I promise you that. If I got a lot of weight, like, man, I wanna lose 50 pounds, I got my 50th wedding anniversary next year, I want my grandkids and my kids and everybody, I wanna look good, my mom's story, by the way, uh, I want to look good. So I'm like, hey, it's going to take a year. I don't want it to take a year, Richard. Well, well, here's what you got to do. You know what? Start walking around the block. Start with that. Let's make sure we're doing this first, right? Get those calories. Get your ranges down, right? 63, 64 years old. It's not really easy for her to walk around, rock around the block. She's got some bad knees. It's like, so what else do we do? We got to find things to get her moving, right? And so when you think about it, I focus primarily with somebody who's not as mobile, you gotta focus on these calories and say, okay, if you're not moving as much, let's, let's focus on the calories first, but figure out ways that you can get that activity in. So 10,000 steps, maybe that'll be good, maybe that won't. Maybe it's just chair sits, sitting down, standing up, sitting down, standing up. I mean, there's so many different things where you can take somebody from a heavy, heavy weight focused on the intake and get them to a good weight over time, a healthy weight over time. And it's, so that's why I say it's movement. So when we talk about activities, I know I just said walking here, but it's, it's just movement. So whatever type of movement you can, even if it's modified movement because you're not as mobile, do it. Hand bikes, you don't burn a ton of calories with hand bikes, but you can do those types of things. Find a way, okay? And oh, I don't have the time, figure out how then to move more. Like, just the difference between sitting at your desk or standing at your desk, difference in calories. You're standing at your desk burns more calories than sitting at your desk. I think we've already talked about that one as well. I think we did that in the first couple of weeks. So resistance training is the second one that I would say you wanna mix in. And the last one is stretching. Or flexibility. Uh, it's horrible. And I would, do, I would just mix it in. I, I, I would say daily actually, make sure you're getting a good warm up, but at least daily or I'll say EOD, at least every other day to start. So what, what you're gonna wanna do, the reason you want stretching is this. As we get older, we, get, we are less active. And as we're less active, we tighten up a little bit, okay? Um, and if you're not, like every day that I, I go to workout, whether it's doing cardio or not, and if it's just cardio, I, I kind of start slow till I get about five to seven minutes in. Then I start to go a little more. Maybe I'll do some dynamic stretching after I get that five minutes in, which is basically just walking, pulling up a knee, you know, doing those things, swinging some hips, um, getting your shoulders loosened up, all sorts of different things to get a stretching exercise in. Another thing you can do is you can actually do yoga. You can actually replace one of your training days with some yoga or one of your activity days with an hour of yoga. Yoga is not super easy body flow, like even modified yoga, like that stuff is not easy, that burns calories as well. But the flexibility is crucial so you can actually maintain the ability to be active long-term. A lot of times, you know, our back problems are related to how tight our hamstrings are, especially in guys. Uh, you know, so just a lot of those things that you think about, keep, it, it also helps you keep a little variety. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta go get on the treadmill again. Or, you know what, actually walking outside is awesome though. I could do that every, I could do that days and days and days, listening to my audiobooks, learning. I love that stuff. But I like to know that resistance training is gonna help me build that lean muscle, which is gonna help me burn more calories because the more muscle you burn, the, it raises your metabolism because muscle burns more than fat. And as you build lean muscle, you know, it's hopefully replacing some fat, not growing with it and the amount of calories per gram that muscle burns versus fat is more. That You gotta do that. Like I said, the flexibility will help more, but the movement overall, just moving every day for that 60 minutes is going to get you that pound a week. So you're like, just with this alone, you got that pound a week. You get on a 
uh, then that's assuming you eat the same and don't replace the, the calories that you just walked off with a sleeve of Oreos when you get home. And I know I always talk about Oreos, but I love Oreos. Um, so if you couple it with a good eating plan and decent amounts of sleep over that year, that 50 pounds just happened in six months. So if you're thinking to yourself, man, I do have a little more weight to lose than I would like, and I want to get something started, move. Figure out a way to move that you're comfortable with. Do some resistance training. And like I said, you might start with chair sits, you know, to, to start working those legs to get the legs are the biggest muscle group. Get those moving a little bit. Regardless, if you got to do some modified things, it's going to help you burn those calories. Get in some resistance training. Like, I, like I've said, stretching or flexibility. Do what you can, but you have to move if you want to make this go faster. Okay? So I hope that answers your question. And if it doesn't, leave something in the comments and let me know. The last thing I want to say is this, right? If you have a lot of weight to lose, uh, sometimes we get nervous. Uh, that we're going to fail again, right? And we, we feel alone sometimes. So over the course of this, I've said, hey, get an accountability partner. Make sure you're, you have support group, um, classes. You know, all of that stuff is really good. Uh, make sure your significant other is supporting you. And, and just, you know, make sure that you also know that it's going to be hard. Like set up reasonable expectations for yourself. But in the end, you're going to have people hate on you. And just like today, I had somebody say that I'm basically stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about and I should like quit doing videos and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's actually was, you know, you, it, it, it kind of stings at first a little bit, but over time you get used to that stuff. And really, when you're doing this, okay, somebody's opinion of you is not none of your business. It's a reflection of the crap that they have going on in their life. So I just want to re-remind us of that. This, this, this sucks because we've, we've been there. You know, we've, we've all been in certain times that you, you don't make interpersonal comparisons, but when I got asked this question I, I, the, from the person who it was, I just know that, you know, they've been here before. And it's, it's just a theme of, of, of trying different fad diets and things that over time, and, and you, you could just tell that they were really like, just searching for like, hey, I just wanna get this. I, this, this program seems okay, but I just, I just wanna get it. I just wanna finally get past my hump and, and succeed with something. And so there's just a lot of crap that we all carry around with any of our goals, whether it's waste loss or not, and you're gonna have the people that are gonna try and pull you back with them. We've talked about this before. Clear them out of your mind. They mean nothing. Okay, so hopefully this helps. That was my last tip though. Fight off the haters, uh, succeed regardless. You will keep pushing. Let me know if you have any more questions. Leave some comments if you need to. Uh, if you wanna hear any additional uh, topics as we push through these last 15 days, let me know. I greatly appreciate all of you out there who've been supporting this. Uh, I know it's been a long journey for you. It's definitely been something. I'm having a great time doing this. I'm, Frustrated here and there, but over time, I really enjoy the feedback that I'm getting. I enjoy the questions that I'm getting, and I do, I do hope and pray that this, this helps someone, even if it's one person, totally worth my time. Uh, and um, it's going to be more, and uh, we're going to keep this thing going. So uh, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully you have a good rest of your week. And as always, I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Thanks again.